Hello everybody, I hope you're doing great. On this video we will discuss about another Windows kernel mechanism that you can modify, tweak and get some performance improvement. Not always and you will see why I'm saying that. Um, this mechanism is the interrupt steering as you saw from uh, the title and the most users suggesting to disable this option and you can get some performance improvement in terms of latency so that's what I tested on this video or this video um, the registry path is the kernel's path you can apply this option either by applying my registry or you can create a new key sorry for that interrupt steering alright and press apply you need to set the value 1 disable it and you need to restart your computer to apply this option and test how you feel your system about the existence of the app tweak i found this page and when i searched about the interrupt setting i found this option the path the registry key that we applied here and the name of this registry all those keys as you see here are exported from the cm control vector function from windows 10 build 14 279 i think the same is for the later windows version and for windows 11. if you want to verify it you need to see uh, with a kernel debugger or procmon process monitor or windows performance toolkit what this function uh, export as keys to verify if exists or later versions and also if you find more information about this option you can comment below and i will check definitely what is happening so as you see we can found many many key values here that you can test and apply and some of them we have already applied and that about the interrupt steering now let's come to the presentation the outline for today include what's internet steering how it works performance analysis and the conclusion the definition is this definition is from compilot because i couldn't find any official so the interrupt steering is a mechanism uh, used in computer systems to manage how interrupts are handled by the cpu when multiple devices send interrupt requests to the CPU, interrupt steering helps determine which CPU core will handle its interrupt. This can improve performance and reduce latency by balancing the load across different cores and preventing any single core from being overheated by too many interrupts. From this definition, uh, I imagine it, it's coming to me on my head the interrupt affinity policy tool. So, this is a way that you automatically windows set affinities because devices has drivers and the drivers are executed from specific cpus so the interrupt setting deciding automatically on which cpu it will handle a, a specific interrupt from your gpu from your peripherals from your network adapter and so on so we could say that we should disable this option if we decide to set our cpus our uh, affinities for a specific driver so you won't leave windows decide what is better you want to set the best option based on your preferences and based on your tests on your performance tests so probably we, if we forget about the performance that we can get by default if we disable this option it's maybe very important to disable this option if we, you decide to uh, set affinities for GPU and so on. So, when we disable this option, disable interrupt sync, which may affect system performance and stability by changing how the CPU handles interrupt signals. And for that reason, we can use interrupt affinity policy tool to set our affinities, uh, to set which CPUs will handle specific interrupts for specific uh, devices the conditions that i did my test is my gpu cpu ram on the software part windows 10 enterprise the latest drivers 
optimize the Windows and BIOS. The tools, Windows Performance Toolkit, Cap Frame Max, and Frame View. The game conditions for Fortnite again was the same. And for CS2, again the same. So let's go to the Fortnite legacy. In direct scale, we see that we have improvement when we disable internet steering. For endos kernel is the opposite, by default things are better. And the summary is endos kernel is better by default, the dark kernel is better when we disable this option. So it's exactly the opposite. In CPU precise, the most metrics are better by default and with no inter without interrupt steering things are worse. And we can see it here with the summary, the most metrics get improved by default and when we disable this option we got worse resets in cs2 we see the dark channel is better when we disable this option same thing for endos kernel at this time so both drivers are better and we see the summary both drivers the both both metrics for both drivers get improved when we disable internet steering in cpu precise we can't say that we have huge improvement and as we see here things are very close, results are very close but the winner is by default we are better than rather than disable this option and we come to the conclusion my suggestion is first test and verify your results don't just listen and take my results and say yeah I saw from Mark me that he gets some improvement for a specific driver, so I will apply this option. No, you need to test and verify your own results on your own machine, on your own operating system. Otherwise, you maybe disable it and see how your game feels. And probably, even if you, if uh, even if I say to not using it, you will apply this option because you are curious and I understand that. So guys, my opinion is, give a try on this option. And again, if you are about to set affinities because i believe the most of you setting affinities for your gpu from for your network card and for all devices you may uh, have to disable this option in order to prevent windows bother those affinities and decide automatically what is better for a specific case so it's better to disable this option and set your own affinities and apply what is better based on your performance Best. So we're coming to the end. That's about the interrupt steering. Um, I will leave every information and source and the PowerPoint in description. You can find all uh, registry that I applied on GitHub. That it will be in description. And that's for now. Uh, see you soon on the next uh, video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Hey!